All right, so welcome back to a cold morning here in West Central Wisconsin. It's two degrees. The feels like is like 12 below. I came out here to do the morning uh, fill up in the boiler and just wanted to show you guys um, and talk about quick why I use and why I prefer using what some would consider smaller splits for a boiler and seasoned wood. We'll go over that in a second. Um, I'm also gonna clean out the ashes. I get asked quite a bit how often I clean out the ashes. And I generally just, uh, once it kind of gets above, uh, like on the, when you look in the door, the water jacket, um, the firebox is kind of rounded. So once that kind of levels off, I just scoop out some ashes like every, every week to 10 days, I'll take some out. The other thing I will quick recommend if you are cleaning out your ashes or if you have a boiler, get yourself a respirator like this. Even if your boiler is outside in the open, that smoke still comes back in your face and you still can breathe a lot of it in. So get yourself one of those, put it on when you're cleaning out the ashes or even when you're reloading your boiler. Now it's time to load up with some nice seasoned, what I like to call fat slabs of oak firewood. So I've just found that not only do these fat slabs of firewood um, season better, stack better, and are easier to handle than the big chunks. The thing that's nice is, so like I mentioned, I did have a good bed of coal, so I was creating heat, the water temperature was rising, but once I finished loading the stove, the temperature was at 165. So I only had five more degrees to go before the blower shuts off. So you'll see what I'm doing is I'm running a little stopwatch and we're gonna, I wanted to just see how long it would take to bring that water temperature up five degrees. And what it ended up being was a little over three minutes. Three minutes and nine seconds, I think it was. Or three minutes, six seconds, something. So three minutes to bring the water temperature from 165 to 170. So the blower turns on when the temperature drops, the water temperature drops to 160. So if we just take that three minutes, let's say we times it by two because it was, what, 165 is where we started. So let's say it takes six minutes six and a half to seven minutes to bring the water temperature from 160 to 170. And that is because I am using seasoned wood that is split fairly small instead of stuff like this. This wood is fine to burn. It's fine to mix in with this, but if I were to only throw in big chunks of potentially not fully seasoned firewood, it would take that fire a lot longer to build up the heat needed to bring the water temperature from 160 to 170. So using seasoned wood like this, I'm able to do that now when it's, it's like I said, it's two degrees outside. So I'm able to raise that temperature of the water 10 degrees in under 10 minutes. And that is what I think a lot of people don't understand about the outdoor wood boilers. If I were to only put in big chunks like this that maybe aren't fully seasoned on the inside, maybe I've even heard people just put in green wood into their boiler. That's gonna take a lot longer to get burning to the point where it can raise that water temperature quick. 
And for me, when it's cold like this, I just think it's far more beneficial, far more efficient to be burning seasoned wood and even smaller split wood. Because here's one thing that a lot of people don't understand. Now that that blower shuts off and there's no air going into that fire, these smaller pieces are not going to burn faster because they need air to burn. So if you think smaller wood burns faster, that doesn't happen when you control the airflow to the fire. I will load this boiler up with small pieces like this and they will last all day, the 12 to 14 hours I need them to, no problem. And that's because they burn efficiently, they get that water temperature back up, the blower shuts off, the air cuts off, the fire quits burning, so those small pieces, they're not burning faster. They're just burning more efficiently. So there you go. There's the reason why I prefer smaller, split, fully seasoned firewood in my outdoor wood boiler. It brings that water temperature back up very quick. It burns great. And no, it does not burn quicker because like right now, that fire has no air. It's not really burning. But when the air does get forced into it, when this blower turns on, that seasoned wood, that smaller split wood is going to burn great. It's going to bring that water temperature back up in a short amount of time. And to me, I think that's the most efficient way to run an outdoor wood boiler. I wouldn't want this thing loaded up with a bunch of big green chunks of firewood sitting here with the blower running for an hour and a half trying to get that wood to be burning because then guess what? Once it does raise that water temperature up, and the blower shuts off, those big chunks, they just sit and smolder. And so the next time you need to raise the water temperature, the next time you need the heat, the blower kicks back on. And yes, it takes even longer, or it takes longer to then get those big chunks burning again. So again, that's just my thoughts, my opinions on having your wood fully seasoned when you're using an outdoor wood boiler. Just helps bring that water temperature back up quick. Like I said, you can mix in the big stuff, I do here and there, but I generally prefer to have all my wood split and seasoned. So there's a big storm coming our way in the next few days, a big polar vortex, bomb, tornado, blizzard, winter weather advisories all over the place. And it's hitting quite a big area. So if you're in, path, in the path of that storm, hopefully you stay safe and stay warm. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.